Hello, this is my video, and today I'm going to be talking about Kiersey Temperament Theory. Uh, Kiersey was a psychologist who uh, studied personality. So, what is personality? Well, personality is something like how we behave. Different people behave different ways and they uh, treat people differently. Some people are more abstract, other people are, like to talk about uh, concrete things like, like tables and chairs, other people like to talk about love or honesty or mathematical theories. So there's lots of differences in people and uh, Kiersey wrote about them in this book called uh, Please Understand Me Too by David Kiersey. And uh, Kiersey based his theory upon another personality typing theory called the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, uh, which was developed um, by Isabella Myers and Catherine Briggs. But uh, Kiersey took a different tack on uh, temperament, on personality theory because he felt that uh, Myers and Briggs and, um, in fact, Carl Jung, who also uh, uh, kind of got the ball rolling on uh, personality theory, that they, that they got some things wrong. So what did they get wrong? Well, Kiersey thought that we shouldn't be talking about what's in the mind when we talk about personality theory, we shouldn't be talking about how you, how you, um, how you think about things, but we should be talking about how you behave. And the only reason for that is because other people can't see how you behave. They have to, uh, they have to, you know, observe you from the outside. So, you know, it doesn't make any sense for somebody to just type themselves based on what they think themselves. They could easily be wrong. They need somebody to check them. So, that's, that's basically uh, Kiersey's uh, interpretation was that we need to look at behavior. So what behaviors constitute type? Well, the first kind of behavior that Kiersey looked at was what, how we talk. What kinds of things do we talk about? Kiersey said there were two kinds of um, people and they talked about mostly about two different kinds of things. The first kind of thing is what he called abstract. So people who are abstract talk about abstract things. Theories and um, intangible notions emotions, sort of mental things. Concrete people, on the other hand, talk about real things, things that you can touch and see and smell with the five senses. Things like, you know, chairs and tables and um, books and, and plants and all sorts of things that we interact with every day. So that was the first split. And, uh, Kiersey actually used the Myers-Briggs letters and he said that the intuitive types or N types were the abstract ones and he called them introspectives. The sensing types or S types were the concrete types and he called them observant because they tended to observe real things in the real world. The next split that Kiersey made was in how we behave. So behavior is how we interact with things like like um, either the abstract people interact with abstract things mostly and the concrete people interact with concrete things mostly. So the abstract people mainly think about um, how to use ideas. And there are two different types 
of abstract people. There are people who use ideas in a utilitarian sense, and there are people who use it in a more cooperative sense. Um, and for abstract people, and it's different for concrete people, but for abstract people, the, the split was for the T people being the utilitarian types and the F people being the cooperative types. So, Kiersey gave names to these two types, the NTs, or um, abstract utilitarians, are called rationals, and the NFs, or abstract cooperatives, are called idealists. For the concrete types, he made a similar split between cooperative and um, utilitarian, but in this case, he used the Myers-Briggs letters P and J. So why do that? Why make a different split? It doesn't seem to make any sense. But actually it does, if you think about how people interact with abstract things versus concrete things. Now, if people are interacting with abstract things, these are thoughts or feelings, T or F. That makes sense. Values are feeling-based. Um, theories and logical constructs are thinking-based. But with, with concrete people, it's not like that. Concrete people are interested in things. So, there's... The, the, the utilitarian sensing types, or concrete types, they're not necessarily thinking or feeling types. They're, they're, they could be either. But the utilitarian concrete types are all perceiving types. Or, as Kiersey says, they probe for options. So they're more interested in taking action and uh, doing what feels right in the moment. Whereas the cooperative concrete types are more interested in doing what is, seems right or correct by the rules of society. So Kiersey said that the uh, SPs, or uh, concrete utilitarians, are uh, are artisans. This is the name he gave them, and the other type, the concrete uh, cooperative types, he called guardians. So that's the um, little bit of an introduction. So now we have four t types, which Kiersey also called temperaments. We have NFs or idealists. NTs, or rationals, SPs, or artisans, and SJs, or guardians. Um, each of these four types has different characteristics, and each has four subtypes, uh, which I'll get into in another video. But uh, what I want to say just in this video is how useful this can be, because, um, and especially if you take the test in this book, you can find out what type you are. Are you uh, an abstract utilitarian or an abstract cooperative? Are you a concrete utilitarian or concrete cooperative? How do you talk? How do you behave? You can find out just by looking in Kiersey's book. Thank you.